hi everybody welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time welcome i hope you enjoy this if you do please subscribe for more and if you're returning hi okay today i'm going to tell you all about my best and worst of august 2018 so my favorites and my fails so let's instead of waffling get stuck in okay now my first fail unfortunately i was looking on beauty bay like you do and i saw what i thought was quite a pretty little eyeshadow set i thought oh that's quite pretty little pinks and it's shades of rose by miss lynn and it was £11.50, so it wasn't the cheapest in the world. And I thought, OK, I'll get it. Let's have a look then. And I saw it and I thought, oh, that's going to look really pretty. Well, guys, look, I got it back. And as you can see, let me show you the problem here. It looks fine when you swatch it, OK? You put it on your skin, you buff it out, and it disappears. It is nothing it all disappears to nothing it was the biggest waste of money ever so that i'm afraid miss lynn is a big fail sorry miss lynn i thought you were going to be beautiful thought naked free had gone forever but no you're not very good sorry so that's my first fail okay now what else didn't i like this and this is high end this actually cost me quite a lot of money. I was coming back for the duty freeze and I thought, oh, I really want that. I'll get it in the duty free. And it's this Lancome Grandios Mascara. And it's got the bent wand. And as you can see already, when I pulled it out, it's clumpy and sticky. And within a week of opening it, it got clumpier and clumpier and clumpier and clumpier. And it's just awful. It's just a big clump now. I, I did like it for the first day. And it's just gone downhill. So I do a little trick actually. Sometimes some mascaras. This is a trick you can all do. If you wash the wand. It's a particularly good wand. And you dip it into a different mascara. Sometimes the wand will make the eyelash look. So I'm going to have a go with that. And get rid of the like mixture but if that doesn't work it's a bin altogether i'm afraid so definitely a fail for me i'm afraid this one which i was upset about gotta be honest i was i was upset okay my next kind of this isn't a fail so much as a no, nothing it's the light bean palette from um urban decay it's their new one new on their website anyhow I got it and I thought, oh, that's a handy little palette to travel about with. It's just like, you know, a little neutrally palette with a silver and an orange in. But it's so boring. It's kind of, I've got to be honest, I've never reached for it. Never used it. And I don't use it because I just, I lose it in amongst things. I don't stick it in my handbag for looks because it's just so bland. But... I mean, there's probably nothing wrong with it. It's just bland. Okay, I never fail. NYX, I'm afraid. I got this just to sort of bump the price up of things for free shipping. Uh, I think it was from um, Beautylish or Cult Beauty, one or the other. And it's a NYX and it's Honeydew. I think it's some kind of primer. Well, it is. It's a primer. But it smells so badly of alcohol. I mean, literally... It is just so alcoholy. It smells like you've been down the pep. I mean, I might as well take a glass of vodka, throw it on my face and call it primer. It's really not doing it for me. It's just sticky. It doesn't dry down nicely. There's no gold in it when you put it on your face. And it smells like booze. And it literally carries on stinking like booze on your face as well. So it's a big fail for me, I'm afraid. My next big fail, and I'm, I'm sad about this, because this is Too Faced. Is this one Too Faced? This is their 20-year uh, anniversary palette. And here we go. And you think, oh, it looks quite pretty. But they're mainly shimmers. 
which isn't too bad. You know, we've all got crease colours and transition shade, all the rest. We've got lots of mattes. The problem is, it's supposed to smell a birthday cake. Well, two face your eggs are off because that's not birthday cake I'm smelling there. If my birthday cake smelled like that, I'd be back down the baker saying your eggs are off. Also, I mean, in 20 years, I mean, people in 20 years, they age, they get wrinkles, they have families, they change. What have Two Faced done in 20 years? They might have gone down or up a shade. But at the end of the day, this shimmery green is still a shimmery green. This shimmery pink is still a shimmery pink. This matte brown is still a matte brown. So in 20 years, you might have deepened a shade or two. Is that all you've managed to actually do, Too Faced? Because I could sit on a rock and, oh, sorry, you've changed a few names. So if I sat on a rock for 20 years, got a suntan and deepened my skin up and called myself red, I'd have done what you've done, Too Faced. I'm not impressed. And it's huge and the glitter falls off. So, sorry, Too Faced, that's the first time for me. They've ever made a fail, and it really is a big fail. So, Too Faced, goodbye. Sorry about that. You can see my cup of tea here. So I'm going to have a bit of tea. Get comfortable. It's an age thing. Oh, and it's a beautiful cup of tea. Okay, now, this is a really big fave for me. I love it. And it's the Natasha Denona Mini Lila Palette. Now, Natasha Denona is always good. I mean, her little mini sunset palettes weren't great. Uh, her formula in her pro palettes was amazing. And I think when she brought out the mini Lila, mini sunset, not the mini Lila, this, the mini sunset palettes, the formula changed. And they weren't as good. And people were like, oh, you know, why is the formula so different? And I was still superior, don't get me wrong. It just wasn't her normal, beautiful formula. This is more like her normal beautiful formula again. And apparently the camel palette, which she's got out at the moment, is too, which I have got on order. And I will be doing a tutorial and showing you all. But this one has become a firm favourite of mine. I absolutely love it. So this is worth investing your money in. So Natasha, you've done it again and you've won my heart back. I love it. <laughs> okay, I would fight for this. This is another palette that I would sell my son for this one. I really would. I would chuck in the dog and the husband as well. That's the Norvina palette by ABH. Now, if you've already got Modern Renaissance or Soft Glam or both, you really probably don't need this palette. And I did do a video where you can see that you can get the neutral eye look that I made on both eyes with the Modern Renaissance palette on one, this one on the other, and they're the same. And yeah, you can, but if you're an ABH junkie like me, if you love these eyeshadows, because they are beautiful, like me, and you just love purple, like me, it's a must-have. And yes, you could go out and buy singles if you've got those other palettes, and if you didn't have the money, you could quite easily dupe this palette. But I just love it. I love it so much. And I've really used this palette over the month. I really have. And I keep using it. And I think it'll be like modern renaissance for me. I'll keep going back and back and back. And the looks are endless. And I just, I wouldn't let anyone take it from me. Literally, I would sell my son. And I would chuck the dog and the husband in. Somebody wanted it, they'd have to fight me. They really would. And even then, if they won, I'd come back at them. I just love it. So... I love ABH in general, I do. And if you haven't got any ABH palettes, you do not know what you're missing. Go out. If you've got the money, invest in one, really. And if you haven't got the money for a palette, invest in some of the singles. They are so beautiful. You can't beat ABH apart from Pat McGrath, which, I mean, she is just the best. And Natasha Denona. ABH is probably the next one down from those for me. I love them. So... Anyhow, I would get any one of those palettes I mentioned, Soft Glam, Modern Renaissance or this one. But this has definitely been a big August favourite for me. So, well done ABH, you've done it again. I love it, I love it, I love it. I really would kill for that. 
This is another palette that I have absolutely loved. And it's the Urban Decay um, Born to Run palette. And oh my goodness. I took this on holiday and literally I didn't need anything else because it's got every look you can think of. It's got warm looks, cold looks. It's got neutrals. It's cool, not cold. That's me being a bit old. I'm in a low AP moment. Do you? I have a lot of those lately. It's got, you know, bright looks, pared down looks, you name it. If you've got no eyeshadows, you're new to makeup and you wanted one palette, this one, buy this one. If you've got loads of makeup and you've got lots of palettes, you probably don't need it because you've probably got all these colours in other palettes. But it's worth it if you travel because instead of taking five different palettes, they're all here and they're blendability the quality i mean it's it's got everything going for it you can't lose with this palette it's really an investment and i would die for this one too this is my norvina i love them i do i do it's beautiful and i, I really do think that was worth every penny i paid for it another thing i love and i've only used this highlighter lately and I got it from Beauty Bay and it's the Dose of Colours. I've got the eyeshadow palette too and I do love that. It's not what uh, they were my favourite favourites but I love it. It's this though. This highlighter and it's in the shade Bathe. And I got it from Beauty Bay. And it's from Dose of Colours, the I Love Cerealia. I think that's how you say it. I'll, I'll write you down there anyway. But I mean it is the most beautiful, like a pinky colour. Let me show you. I can kind of rub it in but you get like a, a lovely sheen with it it's so pretty I haven't used any other highlighter as you can tell because I've got long nails and these are my own nails and I grow them and I dig things by accident already already mwah, damaged it and I love it it is beautiful though if you're going to get a highlighter you're looking for a good new one I recommend this one, I really do. And they've got another one which is more champagne-y. But if you've got my sort of skin tone or lighter, I'd go with the pinky colour one. But it's definitely worth it. Another amazing project. And this one, I thought I'd found my holy grail in face powders. And I was never going to change once I found it. And that was the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush uh, Powder. This has made me change my mind. Don't get me wrong, I still love my Charlotte Tilbury, okay? But this is comparing with it. And since I've had this, I haven't reached for the Charlotte Tilbury. I will alternate, I will, because I do love Charlotte. But this is the Hourglass Veil. I bought the travel size, and I'll tell you why. I'm dry skinned, so I don't powder my whole face, you know, I just powder maybe under my eyes or over my eyeshadow, you know, my eyeshadow primer or whatever. I'm not big on powder, but I love this powder. It's so finely milled. It's it's typical hourglass. What more do you need to say? I've never had a bad hourglass product, but it's beautiful. And the travel size, this one will last me probably a year. Just that much. Most powders go bad before I get a chance to finish them. So if you're looking for an amazing powder, I recommend this one. And if you're like me with dry skin, I recommend getting the travel size because you, you won't get through a big one. It'll go off first. So definitely worth it. Another thing by Hourglass that I thought was amazing is their new Caution Mascara. Again, this is a travel size. The big one's a gold one, but I bought this because I didn't know I'm funny with mascaras. A lot actually make my eyes run. But this, this is beautiful. And I've got to say, I will be, once I've used this, getting the big one of it. And I know a lot of people have raved about it. And I thought, well, you know, a lot of people rave about a lot of things. I end up trying it and it just is awful on me. And they're usually younger and, it, you know, different skins. But this really is worth it. It's the Hourglass Caution. And as I said, the big one's gold. And this is the little travel one. If you're like me and you want to test, get the travel one. It's 12 quid, I think, for the travel one. See if you like it and go from there. But even that will last me probably 
three four months so you can't go wrong with that can you and again mascaras usually dry up on me before i use them up so it's worth me buying travel sizes i'm a lot like that in a lot of things eyeshadows are different they last a long time lipsticks they can go off on me powder definitely does and mascaras they do go off on me because I, I don't use them quick enough i use them every day perhaps i'm not thickly applying i don't know i don't know where i go wrong another thing i found which i love is this rimmel oh my gloss and is it and i never know how to say this is it rimmel or is it rimmel i said this yesterday in my video i don't know if it's rimmel or rimmel but this stuff is brilliant brilliant lip gloss it lasts at the moment i've got their stay satin i think it's called stay satin on and this is the oh my gloss it's 5.99 so it's a bargain and it doesn't have that nasty sticky ring when it dries down it's just beautiful and i've got to say i've got lots of colors in this because i love it so much and the one that is really high end that I, I really didn't love sorry is this incredible worm I've got about five of these. This one's a matte one, and matte's not for me anyway, but this is really particularly drying. But I've got some of the glossier ones, and they disappear, literally, within half an hour. They're not on my lips anymore, and they're a lot of money compared to the Oh My Gloss. So I would say they're a fail as well. Sorry, Incredible, or whoever you are. Okay, and... I think my last one, which isn't new, it's not new at all, but it's just a forever, ever holy grail. It was new. I got this one August and it was new to me. And that has to be my Pat McGrath. This one is, it's a mothership one. It never says, they're so hard to see what they are. Does it say it is that mothership subliminal eye palette? It's the one with the blue in. I tell you what, they are the most unbeatable, amazing eyeshadows you will ever, ever find in your life. She has got to have taken the winning art, number one spot in eyeshadows. I've not found eyeshadows that match Pat McGrath, even over Natasha Denona. And Natasha used to have my heart, but I've got to say, Pat she's just cornered it there sorry natasha because i still love your eyeshadows but even over abh and i love them as well but this this really is my forever ever eyeshadows and these ones i would more than kill over i would more than sell over in fact i would give you my son in a plastic bag with a bow on it and 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 a hundred quid checked in as long as you didn't take this I really would. <laughs> anyway, those are my favourites and my fails of August 2018. I would really love to know what your favourites and fails are because if you've got any good ones, put them down in the description bar. I will always, always rush out, buy them if they're great, and I'll do a tutorial or a review, uh, review, excuse me, or both, and I can put it on my channel and I'll do a little oh to you sort of thing a little mention and see what i think of these products because it's always good to know and share with other people as well that's what makes like the beauty uh, excuse me the beauty community good instead of all the bad controversy we've had let's all be nice to each other and help each other and show each other good stuff rather than flipping the bitching and the rubbish that goes on with the youngsters why don't we set an example and all say, right, these are ways not to waste your money. These are great products. Buy this, buy that. Don't bother with that. Help each other out, guys. Anyhow, hopefully you will have enjoyed yourself. Hopefully you'll subscribe and see me again. I'll be back next month in September with my favourites and fails of September. Hopefully I'll have used like, that little palette a little bit more. I've got a couple more to use. I've got uh, a few that I'm going to run out and grab in September. Um, if there's anything, anything at all that you've got and you think I may have, which I've got most things, I've got to be honest, that you'd like my opinion on or you'd like a review, tutorial, anything, 
please write it down let me know if I haven't got it I can get it and I will do it and as I say none of my products are sponsored nothing like that I own all my own products they're purchased with my own money any view I give you is is a hundred percent honest and it's only mine okay guys so thanks for watching hopefully you subscribe hit the little bell so you get notified of when I'm coming back again and thank you take care everybody thanks for watching bye bye bye